Hi, I am Jane Krakowski, and I am here talking with Playbill about Schmigadoon on Apple TV+. Plus. Schmigadoon? Welcome to our little town, where friends are all you meet. Must be something they do for tourists. Hey, everyone! Hey there, Pete! Woo! Can we go now? Well, I fell in love with Schmigadoon the minute I read it, and even more so when I met Cinco Paul. Um, he has such a love of musicals, um, and I love how he made a parody, but a loving parody of musicals, also with such a modern sense of humor and sensibility. Um, and so really, I mean, to be honest, I was the show's target demographic to watch it, and then I was even more thrilled to be a part of the project to get to be in it. <laughs> how are you, Kristen? I'm so good, and just to hear the word playbill, look how excited I am. <laughs> so you are no stranger to the world of musicals. What has it been like to be in a show that is such a love letter to musical theater and movie musicals? Thank you for putting it that way. Um, I read the script, Roberto, and I laughed my ass off, but I also cried. So I knew at the at the you know, with, with, with all of these things that we do in musical theater, especially when we're made fun of, it's because it's done poorly. When it's applauded, it's because it's seamless. I trusted Sonnenfeld. I've worked with him so many times. I know most of the cast very well. We're all buddies over the years, especially Alan Cumming and I, Dove Cameron and I. But to watch Cecily and Keegan, who wouldn't necessarily say, hey, we grew up in musical theater. I loved that. I loved Keegan's character because my brother is Keegan. Mark Chenoweth doesn't like musicals. Me. So, I mean, he loves me, but you know, Pearl Clutch, what do you mean? And then Cecily, who loves musicals, gets trapped in one, gets trapped in one. I just love the concept. So I was in pretty quickly. I mean, it's been a practically perfect experience in every way. I mean, it's such a... It's glorious. You know, my little musical theater nerd heart is exploding. You know, we get to reference some of my favorite musicals. These characters, they, they make fun of themselves, but they they also like have these different, just like little, little bits and pieces of characters that we already know and love, but they're so specifically themselves. And uh, to play in the sandbox with with this incredible cast who are all functioning at the top of their game, no matter what part of the industry they come from. It's, it's a joy because I think it's actually a well-written love letter to musical theater and Broadway musicals. It's, it's, it, it's a privilege. It's an honor. It's a gift. I mean, you know, you do some projects and you work on some projects and, up, and other projects, they, they land from the heavens. And that, that's me good one for me. I just, I just love the show. I fell in love with the scripts. I fell in love with the set. I fell in, I mean, we shot during COVID, so there were a lot of challenges, right? But, but even with that, it was such a beautiful experience. It was, it was such a joy to be a part of, of such a beautiful, musical, magical show. It's, it's a gift, man. And, and people need to understand that they don't need to be theater geeks to, to like the show. As a matter of fact, Keegan Michael makes fun of all the musical comedy tropes. And it's hilarious how, why is music coming from everywhere? Why, no, no, please don't sing again. And I love that about the show, right? But uh, but I think it's it's a love letter to musicals, as you were saying. And I think that people are, hopefully they're gonna enjoy Doc Lopez along along with um, Ariana DeBose's character, because you know, we represent Emma Tate and Doc Lopez, we represent the love triangle or the possibility of love. So throughout the show, we see all these references to musical theater. So have you had a favorite reference to a musical in the show? I mean, for me, so many, because I think the show lives on many levels. If you are a musical theater fan, as I think the Playbill audience will be, they will get all of the references you are mentioning and so many more. Um, and that is the eye that I watch it with. Um, I think if you even hate musicals, you will side with the character that Keegan plays and you will wish that you were getting out of the musical as quickly as you could. My favorite, and I think it's because it's the most humorous, um, is when Melissa, teaches how babies are born through the song from The Sound of Music. <laughs> you may not know this, but I have uh, had the great pleasure of being part of the project from the very first reading. And so um, I feel like I 
went through the path with Cinco and Cecily and Broadway Video and um, all of the genius people that were a part of making the show. Um, and that song was not in it originally. And so as the readings went on and I was a part of it, I fell more and more in love with it. And then that song took me by surprise when I watched the the all of the episodes um, in an advanced screening. And I was like, wait, what? Actually, I did hear it at the very last read through before we started filming. And I was like, okay, you've raised the bar. You took me to a whole new place I didn't expect Schmigadoon to take me to. Um, and I think that is still my my favorite song for, for its humor and shock value and very, very clever, clever way of working that storyline into a musical song. It's so difficult to pick because there's nine musicals represented and it's more of a character, if I may. It's not necessarily a line, but it's the little boy <laughs> from from what would be Music Man. Um, every time he sp spoke, for me, it was the connector. It's Smith of Leighton. I don't know what it was about his performance or just that he just appeared throughout it gave us permission does that even make sense and to see him practicing over in the corner with his mask on wanting to be perfect i just i fell in love with him and for me he was i mean we ha we have all this wackiness right and then we have the heart of it love story and then we have people being funny and making you cry but that kid for me i don't know what it was i don't know i can't explain it it's just him you know i really there's that duet with um cecily and aaron and it's a it's very steam heat at times. So it's like a lovely like, okay, I see what you did there. And and the performance of it is fabulous. I love the two of them together. Es que, es que there's so many, Roberto. There's so many references. You know, a lot of reference with Oklahoma, as you know, with the opening number and, and stuff like that. But uh, but um it's, it's just with all the reference you have and and, and, and all the homenage the or the homage to the to the musical comedy, it's a pretty unique show. It has its own universe, and I love that about 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 Shmigadu. So before I let you go, we're gonna play a quick game called "That's Not My Name." So the name of the show, Shmigadu, is a take on Lerner and Lowe's Brigadoon, right? So I'm gonna give you names of musicals, but I've changed them a little bit, so you can guess them or you can pass them. Okay? Okay, I'm terrible at this, but I can't wait. Here we go. Nice work if you can get it. <laughs> get it. Nice work if you can get it. Into the woods. Into the woods. <laughs> Into the woods. What? I, I actually, it's beautiful, thank you. Oh my God, and I even sing a, a whole song that is along in my personal show, a long spoof of the Carol King musicals. It's not believe. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. The Carol King musical. South Pacific. <laughs> South Pacific. <laughs> now that's funny. South Pacific. South Pacific. <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> On a clear day, you can see forever. Forever! On a clear day, you can see forever. <laughs> Cabaret. <laughs> <laughs> Which I sometimes prefer, but it's cabaret. <laughs> that would be nice to have a glass of, but cabaret. Amazing. Thank Kristen, thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you for letting me win. <laughs> oh, honey, you're welcome. I long for the days for us to all be back together in person. I can't wait for Broadway to open. I just got to say it to you. And stay safe and be healthy. God bless you. <laughs>